Hi, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase. Here's today's tip. Here we have the same canoe as last video. I just rolled it back before it was thickened so it's a surface body again, and added a split line to help us apply forces in simulation. Today, we're gonna apply a material to this again, but in a slightly different way. We want this to be a composite material with different orientation between layers. To start, I'll go ahead and create a new study. Just a static study is fine. Here you can see this is a surface body. That makes it easier to create shell elements for the study, which is what we want to do. I'll right click on it and select Edit Definition. In the Shell Definition Property Manager, I'll select Composite. You can define each layer individually, or if you check the sandwich box, it'll force three plies and check the symmetry box. In this case, I do want symmetry, but I want five plies. So I'll uncheck sandwich, up this number to five, and check symmetric. This rotate zero degree reference box will rotate everything by 90 degrees, which also updates these lines in the graphics window. This helps you know that you have the correct orientation. Down here, I know I have five layers and my total should be half an inch. For simplicity, I'll make each ply one tenth of an inch thick. To adjust the angle of the plies, you can either use this slide here or type it into the box. The range for angles for this goes from between 90 degrees to negative 90 degrees. I want the angles of center and two outside plies to be the same as zero, so I'll keep those how they are. Ply two and four I want perpendicular to the others, so I'll set them to 90. Notice how the other one automatically updates to 90 when I update this first one. Now to choose the actual materials, I'll just click in the boxes under material. For the outer layers, I'll use this foam. And doing the same for the inner three, I'll choose this glass fiber and epoxy. When I do this, I want to make sure to select a different model of linear elastic orthotropic, so that those differences in angles actually have an effect. Now the last step is to define which direction off of this shell the thickness will be. In this case, we want to select the top surface. What this does is basically tell the program which side of that surface most of the material is going to be. I'll select OK, and now our materials are all set up for simulation. Thanks for watching. Contact us with any questions, and I'll see you tomorrow.